Yo, what's up you guys? Josh here with the RC Recon channel. And today I just wanna do a quick little update video for y'all. Let you know what's going on with the channel and what stuff I've got going on with RC cars. So first up, actually before I get into this, if you guys have not seen the 2028 motor Limitless and the 146 mile an hour run I did with this, go check out that, it's pretty awesome. Uh, the other thing, the X-Max. I did put a smaller motor back in here. So smaller motor, MMX 8S, battery section, nice and, and foam uh, glued down because I'm going to use the same batteries all the time in that. So that's really nice. Uh, new cover here. I do have smaller gears in there. Really nice, really, really light setup. Check. Uh, B. So there'll be a new video on that in the future. The Typhon, I'll talk about that in a second. I bought another battery. I bought a single 4,000 milliamp 6S battery. So you can see here, 22.2 volts. And that's because the two 3S batteries that I was putting in the Max and the Typhon, I, I just didn't like the setup and I really wanted just a single battery. You can see it's got a single plug here. Let me show you what I've done to the Typhon. So the Typhon, as you guys know, had the Mamba Monster X with the 1515 motor, put a single castle plug on there, 6.5 millimeter, and this takes 6S just like it is. So perfect. And then that battery fits in here just fine with this little foam piece to take up the space because it is a little shorter. The other one, the bat two batteries together, just had that all the way up. And this, I can bring that all the way down, bring the weight down. Now, the biggest update, and what I'm gonna do a driving video of, is with the Max. So again, I had the 6S setup in the Max, but the ESC I had in there was a little underpowered for how much this thing weighs. New tires, by the way, new wheels and tires. So the Max now has the same system that the Typhon has. Mamba Monster X. It's not the 8S, it's the 6S. And I upgraded the servo. It's got the 2290. This is the waterproof version. So that's good to go. Motor fan, you see everything is really nice, tucked away. Even went and bought a very, very short sensor cable for that for that so really happy about that and then of course a single castle connector i also put the stock battery tray back down because now with this battery it fits in here just perfect it's got to be on its side like that which is fine because the balance wire can go right down in there and yeah look at that huge balance wire anyways with that clips down, no problem, no issue. It is not going anywhere. Um, I was not very, uh, what's the word for it? Comfortable, did not ha have a lot of confidence in that other strap system I had. This is so much easier, so much easier. I love Traxxas's battery systems, but yeah, all of that in here, got the switch mount, RPM, the RPM mount for this doesn't fit exactly right. I had to use a plate underneath there to screw it down and then screw this to that plate, but it does fit in there good. And it's actually, it's not, it's screwed into the chassis or it's screwed into that plate, but it's not like up against the chassis. So if this hits really hard, that ESC is actually not gonna take the brunt of that hit. So in a future video guys, I'm gonna do an, a comparison between this Max and that Typhon. They're both 6S, both, you know, different styles, but, you know, this is a plastic chassis. That one over there is aluminum, and this has got the wide kit with the metal drive shaft. So, anyways, enough talking. Let me go ahead and get this plugged in. A little wet out, but this is all waterproof. Tires will be fine. Let's go ahead and run it.
shit. <laughs> All right, battery's plugged in. Look at that, that's just so clean. Even if this pops up, I mean, that's not gonna get in the way of anything. We'll just tuck it back down for now. But yeah, that's just right there. Power it on. Perfect. No, we're not. No, we're not. I'm trying to do this one handed. There we go. Okay. Censored system, guys. I raised the truck up a little bit too because I'm going to be jumping it. And this thing is just. Just totally crazy on 6S. Wheelies at any moment. Wheelie, 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 wheelie. And those are just little tiny blips of the throttle. Oosh. Pinion got loose or something. Did you guys hear that? I gave it one little quick full throttle burst. That thing just, whew. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, you guys hear that? That pinion is not happy. Not happy. Let's just carry it up. Shut that down. Let's unplug this and let's get these off. I'm gonna set the camera up so you guys can see, but we'll figure out what happened. Ooh, powder. What's that about? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You guys, that. Hold on. That pinion just totally broke off in there. Look at that. I've never seen that happen. That's crazy. And look, there's like powder coming out or smoke. <sighs> Man, so let me get the rest of this off. And uh, wow, just unbelievable. And I wonder where that grub screw is. I wonder if that just got totally demolished in there. I'm surprised, it looks like all the teeth are okay. That pinion is done for. Oh my gosh. All right, let me, uh, let me take the rest of this off. So that looks okay. And this is a is a plastic spur gear, but I was okay with this being plastic because I figured uh, we would save it. But look, it, it's it's not even messed up. That looks good. Let me take this out. Oh yeah. So I see I see a couple pieces down in there. Let me just set this here for now. That's okay that that. Falls apart. Let me get my needle nose. It's part of the pinion. And here's another part. So the grub screw is gone. I don't know where the grub is. It's not, it's not on here. Just a little bit of dirt. I just hope it ain't get too far in the system. Unbelievable, guys. All right, let me get the motor off. Back the camera up real quick. No. I can't tell if that's just the way that is or if that's worn down. Honestly, can't tell you guys. Hmm. 
This one's okay. You know what? While I'm here, let's see, this is a 50 tooth. I'm gonna go ahead and swap this over to a metal gear. You know what? I, I see the grub in there. It's underneath. Let's see if I can, there we go. It's right there. There it is. Well, I'm really, really happy we found that. So that dust, that dust had to have been from the plastic. So this definitely had to have been ground away or stripping or something. Just unbelievable. Let's get the motor out. All right, so that was a 2450 setup and that, that pinion failed on us. So let me see what else I have. Here's all my various gears. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get a different setup in here and I'm gonna put a metal spur on here. The X-Max spurs should fit perfectly on that. So I'm gonna get this put back together. I was gonna do another run, but when I put the grub screw on, I need to let it sit for you know a good amount of time. I like to let it sit for 24 hours. So I'll put a new pinion on and a new metal spur and then we'll do another video. Put another pinion on. Hopefully it will not break this time. Whew. Let's turn the gyro up just a little bit. <laughs> Very fast. I'm liking it a lot. Sounds good too. Gear mesh sounds pretty good, pretty healthy. You can seriously wheelie whenever you want with this thing now. I think that center dip is feeling it. Check in the backyard real quick. That servo is really, really strong now. A lot better than the stock one. Night and day difference. Oh yeah. And with that, um, that servo and then the gyro turned on, this thing is a breeze to drive. So I know I didn't drive it much, but let me go ahead and just do a quick temp check. We did a couple runs up and down the street and through the grass a little bit. Trying to be quick with it. So we've got the ESC fan and the motor. Well, the motor fan runs all the time. But you can hear the ESC is on. Uh, only 126, 127 on the motor. And ESC, 119, I saw 128 for a second, 126, 
if I get really far down in there. Oh, that looks good. 118. So we didn't drive it much, but seems to be geared pretty good now. Keeping itself cool. So this ends this quick little update build. I will follow up my Mamba X 6S uh, Traxxas Max video with an update to not recommend the Mamba X, but to actually do the Mamba Monster X. So I'll update that video, and then of course I'll post this one. I'll link the other video, I'll link this video in the other video's description. So hopefully anybody that sees that knows to actually put this setup in there. So really, really happy with it. If you guys wanna see this thing jump off of the little ramp, the big ramp has been sold because that thing was just too crazy. But the regular ramp that I built some time ago, if y'all want to see that, be sure to let me know by leaving a like. Comment down below. That really helps the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.